I was a police officer for 12 years between 99 and 2011, joining when I was 22, not long after I left university. And, um, you know, I've got friends for life from my time in the police service. But I also had experiences um, that I would recognise from some of the recent reports, from example, from the Majesty's Inspector Constabulary in Scotland's uh, thematic inspection. And um, I think culturally, there's been lots of good noises coming from the senior leadership team in Police Scotland, but clearly we need to see um, action. We need to see delivery of the recommendations from the Ailish, Ailish Angelini report last year. And we need to ensure that people officers and staff um, at the front line it feel those benefits too. I think we also need to think more generally about how we recruit police officers. I think we've done much better in getting to a parity around gender recruitment, but I think we need to look at the overall pipeline as well. Um, I left with a 12 year service and I would suspect that many do so. And I think that's actually the reality um, of life in Scotland that people don't necessarily join organisations with an intention of staying with them for 30, 35 years. And actually there's a risk, I suppose, for people People being in for a long time in an organisation, then the default is to look and protect that organisation. And how do we ensure that diversity of thinking that means that when a whistleblower does blow the whistle, the first response is to deal with that wrongdoing that the whistleblower has called out, as opposed to necessarily looking to how the organisation is protected. I do think we need to think about those kind of recruitment pathways so that we actually deliver the best and most effective policing service. And that's true across public sector generally.